Let's review the mission details. As you know, a terrorist group called Red Falcon has been carrying out limited strikes around the globe. We've confirmed reports they've set up shop on the main island of Galuga, following the meteor event earlier this year. The Federation immediately dispatched the GX Army, as they were in the vicinity for military exercises. They seemed to be making headway until three days ago, when we lost contact. You're kidding. Gen 10 is the strongest unit in the Federation Army. No way some fringe upstarts took him out. While it's still unconfirmed, we should assume the worst. Apparently, the Red Falcon are more powerful than we realized. Speaking of which, our science division has some troubling intel of their own. Dr. Drake. The Federation's interstellar satellite network detected a gravity anomaly. Something on Earth emitting gravity waves strong enough to circle the planet. Their source coordinates align squarely on the Galuga Archipelago. This gives us reason to suspect the Red Falcon are developing gravity weapons. Gravity weapons. The Federation banned them decades ago. That's right, Lance. We can't risk destructive power of that magnitude falling into the wrong hands. My weapons division at Henriksen Industries confirms those readings are consistent with the components of a gravity bomb. Even just storing that thing improperly could cause tectonic shifts, climate disturbances, or worst case, a potential black hole. Bill, Lance, given the situation, I think it's clear why the Federation enlisted our EMC Contra unit. Your primary objective is to engage Red Falcon ground forces, confirm the source of those gravity waves, and disarm it. If at all possible, locate the GX army and report back with their current status. There's a Red Falcon stronghold not far from your drop. Infiltrate the base and apprehend their lieutenant. His field intel will help determine our next move. A remote hideout missing super soldiers and a doomsday weapon. Hell of a Friday. Time to introduce ourselves. Hell yeah, brother. Take a moment to practice movement, jumping, and shooting. Doyle tells me all Contras can jump a second time in mid-air or dash horizontally. <laughs> Simply incredible. You can aim with more precision by holding down aim lock. We've accessed the weapon delivery network and we'll be sending frequent supply drops. Everyone get down. Shoot a weapon pod to release his cargo. Experiment with a variety of weapon types. There she is. Forget. Chopper's taken enemy fire. It's going down! That's strike one. It's all three by my count. You hold a primary and secondary weapon. Swap between them strategically. Weapons 
have a secret overload function. You can sacrifice your active weapon for a powerful attack or strategic effect. Not done yet. Try the overload function now. I'll send a replacement weapon immediately. Henrik's in here. Next. Contra had arrived when the entire jungle caught fire. <laughs> it's been a while, Bill. What are you doing here? We're here to save your ass. If the EMC was going to stick its nose in this operation, they could have at least have sent a small army. Looks like the small army couldn't handle it. So here we are. <laughs> I suppose so. At any rate, stay alert. These guys aren't messing around. What's the sit rep iron side? Where are your guys? I lost contact on running advanced recon. Probably signal damage or something. I'm not worried. Put that in there. I'll keep in touch. Just in case things get too hot for you, Connor. I heard Stanley's update. Let him worry about the GX army. You two focus on finding the enemy base. Roger that. Entry point, uh, <clears throat> located. We clear to proceed, Commander? Copy that. Falcon is obviously on alert, but we haven't seen anything unexpected. Apologies, Commander. We should discuss the chopper attack. Yeah, we should. How'd they get a missile past our sensors? That's it exactly. It wasn't a missile. What? Whatever it was, our scans indicate organic matter. Organic? What exactly does this mean, then? It means we have a good opener when we find the guy in charge. I'm ready if y'all are. Resume the mission. Locate Red Falcon's lieutenant for questioning. We'll update when we know more. Over and out. Search a lot faster on one of these hover bikes. They haven't decommissioned this model yet.
Shoot! Not one of them. Not anymore. Explain. N name is Bradley. I'm just a merc, you know? Signed up for some easy money, but... These guys are terrorists, man! The other guys were brainwashed or something. They're like freaking zombies! But not you? I guess I'm different. They locked me up for some weird experiments. That's why I'm getting out. Now! So how about that? Can you get me off this island? Please? With your training, you might be able to help us. No way! You don't understand. Someone let me out! They're trying to kill me! I gotta get out of here! Hey. Sniper? <laughs> See? Thanks for the help, but I gotta get out of here! Well, good luck, Bradley. information out of them now.
shield. It was tougher than I thought.
Riser to HQ, do you copy? Little update, the lieutenant turned into some kind of monster. We're here, Major. Sounds like Red Falcon is using biological weapons technology. On the positive side, we located their data hub, and Lance is hacking it now. That's generous phrasing. If anyone at HQ has suggestions, I'm not above asking for help. Looks like you're in. We'll begin analyzing the data. There's another facility north of your current location, just past a local village. This data suggests it's a laboratory. Our best shot at information regarding those gravity waves. Village? Can't still be civilians there, right? Officially, they evacuated after the meteor shower, but we already know that report is less than accurate. Don't love the sound of this. Heads up. I'm accessing security footage of an unknown operative. You boys aren't alone. We'll be careful. Regardless, we'll head for that village and let you know if we find anything out of the ordinary. Let's attack aggressively! Look bad. and a piñata.
We meet at last. You're the two warriors who've been tearing through my men. You the guy in charge of Red Falcon? I am Varanis, the vanguard bringing order and justice to this planet. Just had to post about this island vacation first, huh? And who are you? Two soldiers? To stand against my unstoppable forces? We're Contra, the Earth Marine Corps' finest. Contra? Leave this island! <laughs> Well then, Contra, I will look forward to our next meeting. She shouldn't face him alone. I mean, we were headed that way already. right up those rock walls by jumping onto them.
Overloading the machine gun creates a barrier that prevents you from receiving damage. Creature from beyond the stars. I tried to warn you. Hey, you're the kid from before. What are you doing here all alone? I am Ariana. My people protected this island for thousands of years. After the meteors fell, the village was attacked. I've assumed my tribe's sacred mission. Then that man, Varanis. Not a man, but yes. He is a being from another world who arrived that night. He controls the Red Falcon soldiers. As if they'd lost wills of their own. You catching all this, Doyle? I am indeed. Commander, this is the situation we were afraid of. Understood, Lucia. Try to link up with our Contras once you arrive. Where's Varanis now? He was too fast. I lost him in the climb. That big ugly monster came out of there. No telling what else is going on. Riser is correct. For the time being, your mission is unchanged. See if there's any leads on gravity weapons in the lab. I'm coming with you. you sure, kid? It's gonna get gnarly in there. It's not any safer out here. I don't think we have a choice. But don't let her out of your sight. Sheesh. Ray graduates academy and you're already adopting another one, huh? Relax, Pops. This isn't Uncle Bill's first rodeo. There's no time to waste. You heard the kid. Ah, 